Hello art people. In this video, we're going to go through the monthly deliveries, the August deliveries for Neo, and, uh, and have a little discussion around that and see if we can read between the lines. It's really important. It's crucial. It's critical. It's very important if you have uh, invested heavily in Neo to understand this point that when you see the numbers, which was 20,176, it's not enough that you are satisfied with that. Not enough, in my opinion. What you need to do is to look at some of the articles and what time they issued these articles. And you can tell from that uh, how fast they write these articles and uh, whether they're bearish, bullish, neutral, or whatever. You can tell from that. Okay? So, uh, Neo delivered 20,176. Uh, on the face of it, beautiful. Why? For two reasons. One is that Neo crossed this 20,000 magic number. 20,000 is a beautiful number to see. Okay? And, and second is that it is consistent for the last four months. So, that's why it's important. In, in, in actually, Deutsche Bank, uh, also expected 20,000. But if you do the, um, the average for the last five weeks using insurance deliveries, you would come uh, um, for a weekly average of 4,480. Just look at the last five weeks and, and forget about this beginning of the month, the end of the month or whatever. Just look at the average for the last five weeks and, and do the average, you would come to 4,480. And um, if you do the average for August, um, then you would, you would take the 20,176, divide that by 31, that would give you the daily rate. That daily run rate is 650. Multiply that by seven, that would give you the weekly average. The weekly comes out to be 4,555. So, uh, really nice to see. We have a little over 300 extra vehicles, 320, 322 extra vehicles that uh, were not accounted for if you use just the insurance deliveries. So, that's, that's this. This is how I look at these kind of numbers. Okay. So, given that, uh, let's look at some of the articles written um, by different websites. One of them is, and I wrote these things down here. Uh, okay, one of them is uh, Seeking Alpha. Seeking Alpha within, I think, 20 minutes or so. I mean, literally right on time. Neo had these deliveries. An article was written and released, like not even 20 minutes. Okay, and what did the article say? Uh, new deliveries declines for second month uh, in a row or something like that. That's it. Can you believe that an article was written? This is what you have to understand as, an, as a heavy investor in new. Uh, who's writing what? So Seeking Alpha, and actually if you click on it, I'm not a subscriber, I don't. They even want you to pay, and it's, it's totally biased in my opinion, but within 20 minutes of having Neo release the numbers, the article was spit out as saying that the deliveries declined for the second month in a row. Is it true? Yes, of course. You go back and you find that, um, you know, we had uh, June, July, and August, so July was... In June, we had 21,000 plus, all right? Do I have these numbers written here somewhere? Yeah. Actually, in, in, uh, in May, we had 20,554 in May. And then in June, we had 21,209 in June. And remember, June is the last month of the, of, uh, uh, the quarter. So, yeah, there was a push maybe a little bit or whatever. Uh, 21,209. Uh, July 20,498 and August 20,179 uh, was it August or 76 I thought it was 76 but in any case it's true it declined for the last two months from 21,200 
<laughs> okay. This is the thing. The problem is the, num the, the, the title is true, declining for second month in a row. <laughs> okay. How much is the decline from July? You know, 20,498 versus 20,179 or whatever, 1.5%. Okay, this is monthly deliveries and there is this headline, headline of the article that is a second month of decline. Okay, that's seeking alpha, seeking zeta. Okay, CNEV post. Okay, very fast as well. Very quick. Okay, uh, what did they say? New, new deliveries. 20,176, that's actually 76, and I keep saying 20, it's 79, 76, it's 76, uh, and then above, 20,000, fourth consecutive month, and this is what I think, I mean, to be fair, to give it a professional uh, a ju uh, um, uh, judgment, assessment, professional assessment, you would say, fourth month in a row that's actually what i thought first thing it clicked to my in my mind okay so uh, cnev post uh fourth consecutive uh month of 20000 more than 20000 right big difference one says second month of decline the other one says fourth consecutive month of being consistent uh, uh, above 20,000. Big difference. Big difference. Okay. Uh, what's the other one? Tip ranks. Tip ranks had an article two hours after the release of the number. See, so Seeking Alpha and CNEV Post were very quick to release articles. Tip ranks six hours after. What did they say? Uh, New Europe uh, reports robust August 2024 deliveries. Is that true? Of course, it's robust. Robust, consistent, over 20,000. That is robust. I call it robust. Let me know. If you think it's not robust, let me know. It is robust, right? Uh, NASDAQ. NASDAQ. New delivers 20,176 in August. You go through the article, all you see is copy and paste of every single word written by Neo that I actually get in an email. Exactly the same, copy paste, nothing, no information given uh, one way or the other. It's basically reporting facts. That's it. Okay. Is this okay? Uh, yeah, it is fine. It's neutral, it's the same information. I don't know why bother with that, though. If you uh, sign up to new, you got exactly the same information. Nothing spectacular about that. Barons. Uh, Barons, uh, um, it actually make more of a generic statement about all Chinese EVs. It says Chinese EV uh, makers boost deliveries by 20% this year. And so, is this true? Yeah, it is actually a positive statement, and it is true. So, what do we see? We see pretty much positive, or maybe NASDAQ neutral, and uh, seeking alpha, bearish. That's why you have to understand. And that's why, in the future, whenever you see an article from seeking alpha, you have to think, okay, what's going on? You know, we are actually dealing with somebody who is, who is anti, who is actually bearish, uh, Neo. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind because they were the first to write an article within 20 minutes from, I mean, I wouldn't even, you know, the first question comes to mind. Are these articles generated by, by uh, you know, uh, by a, a robot? Are these AI articles written by artificial intelligence? I mean, what is it? How can you read the information, take the information, look at the previous two months, write an article, post it, do all of this work within not even 20 minutes from the release, assuming that you're actually sitting and watching the, you know, the, uh, the, the release, just clicking this refresh, refresh to, you know, to, 
to see the and then whenever you see the numbers you have to go through okay what's going on and then write an article and do all of that what does that tell you i would bet you you know that um, of course i'm using this phrase you know but i, I it, it appears to be okay maybe that's the right uh, that uh, uh, that it is ai generated ai generated so here you go now we are looking for a simple thing which is monthly deliveries and we are coming and making a research out of this no we're not we actually discovered that seeking alpha is actually bearish near yes they are <laughs> they are okay it's my opinion anyways it's never financial advice it was actually a comment from somebody says is this a, a you know financial advisor or something no i mean what kind of question is that you know of course not please do your own due diligence okay anyways that's these are my thoughts never financial advice thank you bye bye